This is a production of Warmaster's Workshop, and it is the first in a series of short tutorials on um, how you can complete small projects uh, for your costume or Mandalorian armor. Um, and what we're going to be doing today in the first episode is we're going to be making a rechargeable, a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, basically this, out of uh, scavenged and very low-cost uh, parts. So uh, the key to this are our two items here, which are our lithium-ion battery. This is a battery that I've scavenged from an old laptop, uh, an old laptop power supply or, or a laptop battery. Um, usually, you get anywhere from six to eight of these in laptop batteries. Um, they're 2,200 um, milliamp hours, so they last a long time. They charge to around 3.7 to 4.2 volts, and uh, one of these can last uh, last you all day for something like a fan, or for a voice amplifier, a speaker, or for um, you know external mic pickups, anything like that. These little batteries are great for that. They will last uh, sometimes longer than a day. Uh, the next key component you're going to need is one of these little. Um, recharging circuit boards right here. Um, I bought like 10 of these off of Amazon for uh, less than 10 bucks. I think it was like six dollars. Uh, this basically is just a small uh, circuit board that has the uh, the recharging and uh, protection component circuits on it. Um, it uses a micro USB port as you can see there to recharge. Uh, what this does is this steps up the voltage of the uh, of the battery from 3.7 um, 4.2 volts up to uh, 5 volt output. It also allows you to recharge the battery um, and it also provides over uh, overcurrent protection which in, which is useful if you have a load that's drawing too much current from the battery so it doesn't kill the battery um, and it also provides uh, short circuit protection in case something happens and you've got uh, wires that short each other out this way the battery doesn't overheat and uh, cause you some real severe uh, bodily damage there. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to take a couple wires, we're going to attach them to the battery, and then we're going to attach them to the charger, and uh, we'll wrap this up in some electrical tape, and I'll, I'll just show you how to do this. It, it doesn't take very long. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our battery, and um, depending on the battery that you have, it may be labeled plus and minus. In this case, my battery is labeled plus minus, but uh, normally your positive side here is going to be the smaller, it's going to have the smaller metal end on it, and the negative side is going to be the much larger metal end, okay? And whatever we do, we're going to make sure those two ends um, never come into contact with each other uh, via wire. So the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to go ahead and strip our wires. So let's do that real quick. And I'm just using some just wire pieces I have laying around as the wires for this. You can also buy these lithium ion batteries online. Just look up uh, lithium ion uh, 3.7 volt battery. And you can usually find them on Google fairly easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our negative wire first, our ground, our ground wire here, because it has the longest distance to run. So you notice I only shaved off one end. That way we don't accidentally short it out. So I've already got my soldering iron heated heat up here. So what I'm going to do is just make a small pool of solder right here in the center of the battery. And then we'll take our negative line here And we're just going to solder it right on there. 
Easy as pie. And then the next thing we're going to do, and again, as you can see, I've only stripped the one end of the positive line. So now that we have our negative wire on there, we're going to put our positive wire on there. And this one is, might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to pull the solder down here a little bit, get some on the end of the soldering iron without losing it. And stick that right here on the top. Again, this doesn't require a lot of solder to do. I'm going to make sure I have enough solder on there, though, so that we don't run into any issues. And you want to make sure you get these the ends of the battery hot enough so that the solder will stay on it. That's usually the most difficult part. All right, so we have our little dollop of solder on there. So now what I'm going to do is, as gracefully as possible, I'm just going to heat the solder up against the wire. Why don't we turn this wire? There we go. So now, we've got both of our wires soldered on there. So we're going to put the soldering iron up for a minute while we take care of this. Now, we don't want to have our, our uh, wires super long on this. So what I'm basically going to do now is just clip these wires pretty short and then solder the battery to the proper post. Now, on this board and on most of these little boards, you're going to see, and it's probably going to be hard for you to see it here, but you might be able to see it. There's a battery plus, I'll point it out to you here, there's a battery plus terminal, and there's a battery negative terminal. And you want to make sure that you're soldering this, these terminals here to the inside, okay? Because the outside terminals are for your load or for your device that you're wanting to power from the battery which it's also positive going out and negative going out and those are labeled as well out negative out positive so let's go ahead and clip our wires and I'm going to keep them relatively short and I'm also going to keep them relatively the same size And here's where we have to be careful. We don't want to, don't want these to touch. So, whoop. I'm gonna just nip that one a little low. That's all right. All right. So, we're going to do these one at a time. And that's really all we need. So, we're gonna put that in the negative terminal. And I like to, for these, I like to kind of bend the uh, the wire back a little bit. And I'm going to grab my helping hands here. And this will actually help you watch me as I solder it. So we're just going to hit this surface pad here.
Now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and take off our helping hands here. And we want to clip these little, the remnants of the lines. And once we have our lines clipped, we can go ahead and wrap this with some electrical tape. And just so we make sure that our joints are good, we're going to take our voltmeter real quick. We're going to put it on 20 volts. I've got it set for 20 volts. And we're going to test our positive out with our negative out. And as you can see, 4.11 volts. So we know that the charging board is correctly um, wired up to the circuit. Now, one way we can charge or check to make sure that the circuit is correctly working is I have plugged in a micro USB cable to charge it and then we just slip this onto the charging circuit itself and there you have it the little blue light means that the battery is already fully charged if the light was red, that means that the battery was charging. And once the battery turns, or the light turns blue, that means the battery is full. So that's just a very easy and cheap method for creating your own uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery. Um, this is something that would cost you, um, you know, by the time you've got one, you've shipped one out, you've paid over 10 bucks for, for something of this nature. Plus, with the little uh, charging and circuit protection board in place. But you can do these for next to nothing um, by yourself. So there is our lithium ion battery with charging and circuit protection board.